capital of South Vietnam, and a city well known to troops who have served or are serving with the headquarters of the Australian forces here in Vietnam. Despite years of war and numerous Viet Cong terror and rocket attacks, life goes on for the stoic Vietnamese civilians. The hub of all Australian service activities is located in Cholon, behind the imposing facade of the Free World Military Forces building. Here at his headquarters is the commander of the Australian Forces, Major General A.L. MacDonald. I welcome this opportunity of speaking to you on behalf of the Australian Force in Vietnam. I want you to know that members of the Force are doing a fine job, despite the difficulties and hazards of service here. They are an excellent heart, and the morale is superb, and I firmly believe this is due in large part to the wonderful support given to the Force by people in Australia. I particularly wish to thank the families and others close to members of the Force for their understanding and forbearance in this period of separation. Your ready acceptance of the many difficulties and perhaps sorrows inevitable in the absence of your husbands or sons has done much to maintain their spirits. We are grateful too for the efforts of the many organizations and groups, too numerous to mention individually, who have devoted their time and money towards providing amenities and other assistance to the force. It is most reassuring to know that you in Australia have at heart the continued well-being of our sailors, soldiers and airmen. Finally, I wish you all a happy Christmas and I join with you in the hope that the new year will bring peace to this troubled country. The majority of the 8,000 Australian servicemen in Vietnam see little or nothing of Saigon. At Nui Dat, about 40 miles southeast of the capital, is the operational base for the 1st Australian Task Force. It's home for about 5,000 officers and men. From Nui Dat, are launched the operations against the enemy in Phuc Chui and the neighbouring provinces. The commander of the task force is Brigadier Sandy Pearson. Uh, on behalf of all the soldiers of this task force, I would like to, uh, to wish everyone in Australia a very Merry Christmas. Every one of us would very much love to be home with our families on this particular day. This is not possible, and the best we can do is to think of you uh, and to think of you all getting together and thinking of us on this day. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank all the people of Australia for the support, both in the material and spiritual kind, that they're giving to the soldiers of this task force. We all appreciate very much the various groups that are doing their uh, utmost to provide us with a lot of the comforts uh, and other material things that we uh, miss from our normal home life. Again, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everyone in Australia. This is one of the gun positions of 102 field battery at Nui Dat. There are four Tasmanians in this crew. The section commander is Second Lieutenant Robert Lowry of Austin's Ferry. Good morning to my uh, four brothers, Mike, Steve, Rick and Paul. Wish you all a Merry Christmas. Don't eat too much. As for my father, all the best with his flying. Mother and her 1,200 uh, kids. I hope you're having a good time. Don't eat too much and don't forget to save me some of the uh, fruitcake. Gunner Bob Hart comes from Launceston. Hi Mum and Dad, uh, happy Christmas uh, to uh, Ross and Susan, Pauline and Tony and all my friends and thank you for everything you've done. Uh, it's very good and I appreciate everything you've done while I've been up here. Gunner Red's car is from Kettering. Hello love, how are you going? I hope you're looking after our son pretty well, Mum and Dad and the rest of the family. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll be home soon. Please look after yourself. And Gunner Peter Leonard comes from Launceston. Hello Mum and Dad. And Josephine, and Cynthia and Margaret, I'd like to wish you all a happy Christmas and a happy new year. Uh, I'll be home soon, so I'll see you then. The battery commander of 102 field battery is Major Gavin Andrews. His wife Patricia and his small boy Lachlan are waiting for him at Sandgate, Brisbane. Uh, to all uh, relatives and friends of the members of 102 field battery, uh, go my very sincere and best wishes this Christmas and to my 
wife Patricia and son Lachlan, my very special thoughts will be with you today. Men of the 1st Field Squadron Royal Australian Engineers work closely in support of the infantry on operations. Sapper Bob Laird is from Labrina in Tasmania. Hello Mum and Dad and all back at home. I hope you're well and that you enjoyed the few small presents that I've sent home. I hope they'll be of some years. Uh, I hope you like the soup strainer that I'm starting to grow. It's not coming on too bad for three weeks. Uh, well, once again, all the best to everyone. His mate, Sapper Bob Woolley, he comes from Glenorchy. Uh, hello, Mum and Dad and uh, Marilyn. Uh, everything's going all right up here. Uh, I suppose I'll spend next Christmas with us. And, uh, Corporal Rocky Hoare is a member of the 161 Independent Recce flight here at Nelly Dat. He comes from Hatspen in Tasmania. Say something, Rocky. Thank you. Uh, hi, Dad, Mum, Robbie. Uh, about the closest I can get to on Christmas Day. Uh, hope you've had a good day and everything went well. We've had a pretty good day up here. Uh, thanks very much for all the parcels. Uh, much appreciate it. You know, I'd like to hand over to one of the mates from uh, Private Norm Brundle from Hobart. Thanks, Rocky. Hi, Mum, Dad, Liz Rose. Hope you're all happy today. It's not bad up here, really. Uh, by the way, Christmas presents. Uh, they'll be a little bit late this year as I'm going to Hong Kong in early December and I'll get everybody something from there. Anyhow, thanks very much, and uh, we'll see you, see you next year about June. And Private Jeff Smith of Hobart is a storeman here with the 161 recce flight at Nui Dat. Say something to your family, Jeff. Uh, I'd like to say hello to Mum and Dad and the kids and Annette, and I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I'll see you in April for r and r Thanks. When our cameras visited 1RAR, we found five platoon getting ready to go out on patrol. One of its members is Private Gary Clayton of Georgetown. Uh, hello, Mum and Dad. Uh, you get a bit of surprise to see me on the uh, idiot box. But, uh, I just wish you a, a Christmas greeting. I uh, hope you're both well. Uh, I'm pretty fit at the moment, and uh, I hope to be home with you soon. Uh, save me a bit of Christmas cake. Private Dennis Walker of Devonport is a member of the Mortar Platoon of 1RAR. Hi, Dad and Clancy and the rest of the family. Hope you have a happy Christmas and Merry New Year. Keep the bot light full, of course, I'll be home pretty early in the New Year. The commanding officer of the 1st Battalion Royal Australian Regiment in Vietnam is Lieutenant Colonel Phil Bennett, and his wife, Margaret, is waiting for him at Holdsworthy. On behalf of all of those men of the 1st Battalion who could not be included on this program, may I for them wish the mothers and fathers, their relatives and friends, particularly their girlfriends, a very happy Christmas. We're all thinking about you very sincerely on this special occasion. To all those many organisations, too uh, numerous in fact to mention, could I thank you for the gift parcels, the books and the many kind wishes of support that we've all received. We appreciate it a great deal and it's done a lot for the morale of this battalion. We thank you and we have written to thank you. Those that have not been able to do so through duties and their commitment to operations join with me in expressing their gratitude for your generosity and thoughtfulness. To our wives and our relatives in Holsworthy and those people who have done a wonderful job looking after our families while we've been away through the Australian Overseas Service Association, we are indeed thankful for the help throughout the year. We miss our families very much and we're looking forward to coming home. To my own wife, Margaret, and my three children, my love and best wishes for a very happy Christmas Day. The Horseshoe is a, an outpost about 6,000 metres east of Nui Dat. Men of 4RAR have got a hot job here. They're putting up new barbed wire defences. This young man is Ron Fisher from Georgetown. Uh, hello, Mum and Dad. Yeah, uh, Glenda, Carol Roy and family. Hope you're all having a good time. I wish you all the best for Christmas and the New Year. Uh, it's not too bad in this place. A bit warm now. Uh, that's about a lot for now. Uh, this is Peter Ewington from the Wingard. Hello, Mum and Dad. Uh, Joan and Ken. Uh, I'd like to mer uh, wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, Dad, will you please have a beer for me? Yeah. Uh, this is Michael Conroy from Manchester. Hi, yeah. Mum and Dad. Colin Johnny. I'd like to wish you all the best for Christmas and the New Year. And uh, 
have a beer for me, Buff, and I'll see you. I should, I'll see you in the new year. The commanding officer of the Fourth Battalion Royal Australian Regiment is Lieutenant Colonel Lee Gravel. His family, his wife, and four children are waiting for him in Hamilton, Brisbane. I wish to extend Christmas greeting to all those families of the officers and men of my battalion on behalf of us here in Vietnam. I speak for those husbands, sweethearts and fathers who may not get this wonderful opportunity to send their personal messages. We would all love to be with you over this festive period. We will be thinking of you and we all hope you have a wonderful Christmas. So my Christmas message to you is this. Your men are in good health, are wonderfully fit, and I'm very proud of them. Be of good spirit, keep your letters and messages in a vein which reflect that spirit, and you'll be making a very worthwhile contribution to their welfare, their effectiveness, and their safety. A happy Christmas to you all. To my wife Peggy, my children Richard, Virginia, Andrew and Jamie, I send my love and wish that you have a wonderfully enjoyable holiday at the beach, and that Christmas is an exciting and happy time for you all. In villages such as Long Tuan, another war, a war against poverty and disease, is being fought. Every day in the Phuc Thuy province, Australian medical teams from the Civic Action Unit are treating villages. This one at the village of Long Tuan is headed up by Major Ray Atkinson of Parramatta. Hello, darling. Hello, boys. Uh, all the best for Christmas. This compound is a veritable fort. It is manned predominantly by Montagnard troops who are advised by an Australian mobile advisory team. Its task is to provide the security for the new settlement village of Apsuine in the distance. It's playtime here at Apsuine State School. The state school, the school itself, the school building and the play equipment were provided by the Civil Affairs Unit of the Australian Task Force. Schoolhouses are not much good without books and pencils crayons and this sort of thing, so the members of the Civic Action team from Nuidat distribute these things from time to time. Sergeant Dong is a, uh, an interpreter, Vietnamese interpreter, working with the Civic Affairs Unit. Uh, I myself and uh, to the teachers, uh, here's a representative for the children, here's a thank you very much for your thing. It's relaxing time under the rubber trees at Nui Dutt. Uh, this is Private Ray Collins of Lena Valley. Uh, hi, Mum, Dad and Pete. Uh, hope everything's OK at home. It's not too bad up here. Uh, Merry Christmas and keep the mail coming in. Private David Joyce comes from Launceston. Good day, Mum. Good day, Dad. You're having a pretty good time up here. I'll be glad to get home. And Private Day, uh, Tony Stewart is from Devonport. Uh, hello, Mum and Dad. I'd like to say Merry Christmas to you and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Whitney and my friends, and keep the mail rolling. And Private uh, Dallas Leary is also from Devonport. Hello, Mum and Dad and family. I'd like to send a few Christmas greetings today, and hope you're all well at home and everything's going well. At Vung Tau on the South China Sea, the Australian Logistics Support Group is located. Thousands of tons of stores to handle here at the 2nd Advanced Ordnance Depot at Vung Tau. Driving the forklift truck is Private Paul Richardson from Westbury. All right, Mum. I'd like to send a big cheerio to you and all the family, and all my mates. Uh, don't drink too much. Just leave a bit for when I get home. Thank you. Uh, Corporal Dave O'Donnell is from Luna. Uh, Mum, it's like Peter, Phil, uh, Nan, Pop, and uh, two, two young nephews. I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, Happy New Year, and we only about a month and I'll be home with this again. Corporal Peter Young comes from Howrah. Uh, Good day, Mum, Dad, Judy. How are things down here now? Um, should be home in about six months. I suppose you'll all be up at Nan's for Christmas. Hope you'll have a good time. I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and see you in June sometime. And Private Rod Parker comes from La Trobe. Hello, Mum, Dad, Russ, Suzanne, Pop. Merry Christmas to you all. I only wish I could be home with you. Merry Christmas to Patsy and her family, all friends and relations. Merry Christmas, everyone. At the Royal Australian Army Electrical and Mechanical Engineers workshops at Bung Tower, they're capable of fixing anything from a stopwatch up to a centurion tank. Warrant Officer Terry Dillon is the section leader in the instrument section. He comes from Denern, Tasmania. I'd like to send a big cheerio to my mother, all my brothers and sisters, 
down at uh, Hobart, and also a big uh, cheerio to my grandmother down at the Grange at Sandy Bay. I'd like to thank you all for your letters and uh, good wishes that you've been sending me over the last couple of months, and uh, I hope to see you all in the early in the new year, around about April sometime. Working on a heavy-duty forklift truck is craftsman John Wells of Devonport. Well, hello, back home. I wish you all the best on Christmas Day, and uh, I hope to see you very soon. Uh, look after yourselves, and all the best. Cheerio. The provisioning of our trips in the field is the responsibility of five company, Royal Australian Army Service Corps. This is Private Mike Walker from Queenstown. Uh, hello, Mum, Dad, uh, Bogus, all my friends in Queenstown drawn. Uh, fondest love to my fiancée, Joy. Uh, I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Uh, I only wish I could be there with you. The only, in a few more days, uh, New Year's Eve, on New Year's Eve, I'll be home on R&R. &R. Uh, I'm looking forward to a good time with you all. Here at the Peter Badko Club at Brung Tower, the war seems a long way away. Named after Major Peter Badko VC, the club, and in particular the swimming pool, provides a welcome break for servicemen on a two-day pass from operations further up country in Phuk Thuy. Sergeant Herbie Ross is a physical training instructor here at the pool. Part of his job is to help uh, injured soldiers back on the road to recovery. He comes from Annandale. Hi, honey. How are you? Long time no see. However, I'll be with you shortly. Hello to David, Leanne, um, and Mum, Dad, everyone down there at home. Just how are you going? This is a big shock to me. I didn't really think that I'd be able to do this, but here I am. I hope everything's OK at home, and please look after yourself. I'd like to say hello to all the fellas that have come through the pool on physiotherapy. Hope you're getting on all right now, chaps, and no troubles. If, uh, if I ever get to your place, I hope I'll see you real soon. Merry Christmas, honey. Thank you very much.